up there it's a fort up there that's uphill up the top of there and over the top is the fort I've just found the track to lead up to the lane that will take me to the church it looks like someone's been knocking it down a bit the pathway here yes yeah, so there's a bit of a broken bridge there I mean hopefully they'll repair that it's not signposted but somebody does know about it and some um, so I thought I'd video it I might have even videoed it before it's about right this time now for doing all this I doubt if the church will be open anyway and then we'll be doing a bit of um, road walking we'll be doing a bit of road walking Yeah, I remember that big log there. It had some really amazing fungi growing on it. <laughs> Whatever time of year I visited. <sighs> yeah, it's not got any on there now. So basically, we've got this main track down there. We'll take you to the exit from away from here. Down towards... Um, Samford and Churchill and all around that way. I don't know if it's Churchill, I don't know, I can't remember. Somewhere down there anyway. And um, also the main entrance to climb up. I mean, you, you won't come up with a camera, but up through the top there I can see the bank, the big bank that goes up to make the fort. Up and up and up. I mean, it's a good hike up there. So I'm going to leave that for another day again, because it doesn't matter, it will get done. And it would have got done, it would have, I would have been up there by now, if I hadn't done my big diversion. So it's just a little tiny side track this one, little tiny one. Somebody maintains so that we can use it. It's not very si well signposted and it comes out onto a a very small lane but it, you've got to beware because the vehicles do use it. So it the lane is like a mini road that leads down into the villages of Roborough and Shipham. So you will get normal traffic using it. But it's more dangerous to approach that lane from the further down by the um, exit because there's another big main road nearby and you'd have to walk up a big main road on the bend. So this prevents people getting killed. It takes you off that big road. Now look, over there, over there is um, part of the fort, the ancient Iron Age fort, which I would be climbing up through a wood there and up and up and up and up on the top to right over there. So we aren't far, we aren't actually near the fort, but we aren't actually going to climb it today to get on the top. It doesn't have to be climbed every single time. So we're not doing that today. I've just had a lot of that. Here yeah, I can hear a vehicle then, crashing by. Yeah, I've... um. had some of that video on um, Zoom unfortunately so it's going to be horrible 
very large and jumpy and out of focus because I zoomed in for something else and forgot to zoom out. I'm always doing it. Of course, people who are fast walkers would find this very difficult walking with me. But I do get around. I'm sorry, but I do do it. And I can keep going for ages as well. I do it at my pace. Obviously, when I was younger and less three stone lighter, I'd do it quicker. That's why I walk alone as well, because although my breathing has improved vastly over the last couple of months, um, I would feel I had to walk quicker with others or I was holding them back and I wouldn't enjoy it so much so if I go out with other people it's usually well it's rare it's very rare now I like to just potter along at my own pace it probably drives people insane if we're watching this they think my goodness isn't she ever going to get up that hill Right, so you come up there. You could be with a small child, you see. That's slower pace. And you don't miss any detail when you go slower as well. So here we are. Here is... Which you, if you had a child, you'd have to warn them that there's no... It's, it's open straight away, look. That will be a very old stone here. Very old stone. And you come straight out onto a road. There's the sign there. You come straight out onto a road. So you wouldn't have to dick, duck and dive a bit because you could get a tractor come along here quite fast. Um, I think that's a beach. Someone said to me the entrance is by a huge beech tree, very old beech tree, and that is it. It is a very big old one. That's um, rare as well to see one that older beech. That's keeping up with the oaks, that is. Right then, if we walk up along this lane, eventually there's a private residence. And they've got part of the church in their garden. But we're not allowed in that But They've probably got the key. So I'm sure if you asked. I've never done it though. But um, like I said, it's open this week. But then it'd be full of people. I wouldn't be able to video. So you look like you can walk straight up to the church there, but you can't. Look at these beaches as well. These are big, aren't they? Big and old. Now if we look over there, we might be able to see a bit more of the fort on the other side of the valley. So this is out in the Somerset countryside, entering the village of Rowbarrow, which I've done quite a few times. I don't always come this way, of course. It's um, it's a nice view of the church from here, isn't it? This is the manor house, you see, and they've got part of the church in their back garden. Right, I'm going to turn off and take a picture, I think. I'll just zoom in. I'm 
Barbara from Canada will have people buried in the churchyard here, even if they're not visible graves now. Um, she has people from this village and ship them up the road. Alright, over and out.